What up folks, it's Alex here and welcome to this bonus 5 Minute Friday video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a real cool, easy, simple snapshot slash photo effect that looks something like this. And to make your lives easier, I've actually created that camera viewfinder overlay for you. There's a link down in the description below. You can go ahead, you can download it. It's a PNG file, which means you just download the file and then you import it into your media pool the same way you'd import anything else. So just import it, it'll sit in your media pool and then you can drag it onto your timeline and it's there ready to use. Also check in the description because there's the link to the exact same sound effect that I used. Again, it's free to download. It's not one of mine, but there's a link to the website where you can go download it for free and it's yours to use to create this effect. Right, with that out of the way, let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the Edit tab. Now I'm just going to grab my footage and put it on my timeline. And I've got this footage here of this mother and this child. And the first thing you want to do is just move your playhead and find the point where you want your snapshot or your photograph to occur. So I'm going to go with about there. And then when you're in the right position, you're just going to make a cut. So I'm going to use the control and B shortcut to cut my footage right there. Now this second half here, I don't actually need, so I can delete it. If you do need it for later, of course, just move it out of the way for the time being. We're then going to put our playhead right onto the end of our first bit of footage here, like so. So snap it to the end like that. And then we're going to hit the left arrow key once just to go back one single frame. Now you may need to zoom in to do this so you can actually see what you're doing. So we're just gonna zoom in a bit. And we're gonna do Control and B again to just add another cut there. So now we've got this single frame on the end and this is gonna become our photograph. So we can right click on that now, change clip speed, and then we're gonna tick this freeze frame box which will turn it into a still image. And then we're gonna click change. Now, because that's a freeze frame, we can hover our mouse over the end and then drag that out to be as long as we like. So now if we hit play here, we've got the moving footage and then it will just turn into a still image. So this is our photograph. Now we can just apply our overlay. Just grab it from within your media pool. It should be called viewfinder.png. We're going to put that on there. So because it's a PNG, it's see-through, so it looks something like that. We've got our overlay, but we can still see our footage underneath. Now, while I'm in the media pool, I'm just going to grab my shutter click sound. Check the description. There's a link to this exact shutter click sound. It's free to download from a website, so you can go and download it and use it yourself as well. And then if we hit play, we've got something that looks like that. So it's looking pretty good so far. Now we want to add a little transition, a little flash to white to show that the image has actually been taken. So we're going to open up our effects library, open up the toolbox, we're going to go to video transitions, and then we're going to grab the dip to color dissolve. We're going to click and hold, and we're not actually going to put it here like you usually would. We're going to put it here. So at the end of your viewfinder, but you want it on the end with some overhang like so. And now if we hit play, we have a flash to white with the sound effect and it looks like that image is being taken. You can of course adjust the length of that little flash to make it as quick or as slow as you like. That's purely down to preference. So that's nearly there. It's looking pretty good. A few extra things I would like to add just to really sell the effect. Click on your freeze frame, your still image. And one of my favorites, you can turn on the dynamic zoom. So now if we hit play, We've got something that looks like that. Now there's loads more you can of course do with this. If I give it a click for one last time, I'm gonna head into the color tab this time. And then right at the very bottom, you should see this little bar here. Make sure you're on number one, and then you've got saturation. I'm just gonna drag that all the way down to the left to make this image look black and white. So I've got a black and white photo now instead. We go to the edit tab, we hit play, and it looks something like that. There's loads of possibilities with this. 
add some vignettes, change some color, maybe do some sepia tones, that sort of thing. Really cool, really easy, simple effect to do within DaVinci Resolve. And that's it. I hope this video was useful. If it was, thumbs up. Any comments or feedback, make sure to pop them down below. And if you are new here, maybe consider hitting that little subscribe button for me. Thanks ever so much for watching. Until next time, take it easy. See ya.